Welcome to JazzTime. JazzTime.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves in the comfort of their own home. If you like this watch and would like to purchase it at the lowest price anywhere online, click on the link in the description below to buy it at JazzTime.com. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Rolex Datejust 36 in rose gold and steel or ever rose and oyster steel and diamonds reference 126281 RBR with a silver palm motif diamond dial. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the history, then where this watch stands in the lineup of other day chests, then talk to you about the bezel dial case bracelet movement, finally try it on and give you my thoughts. So let's start. This is the Rolex day chest. Now Rolex makes two basic lines of watches the dress watch or the sports watch or as Rolex calls it the professional line. Now Rolex does their date just in many different sizes as you could imagine because it's their most iconic, their best seller and it's their most recognizable watch. So they've been making and they've been making it the longest. Uh, they've been making date just for like a hundred years now. So the date just is in sizes 28 31 and 36 millimeter for women that comes out to small medium large and they also make for men size 36 and 41 you might even say they make a day just 42 aka the sky dollar so that's also small medium large for men now uh this one is a size 36 which means it could be worn by either a man or a woman because a size 36 is a unisex watch for those women who like to wear large watches or men who like to wear smaller watches but in this situation with all these diamonds i'm going to have to say this one is more of a ladies watch than it is a men's watch but you know it could go either way really okay so that is a little bit about the history. Oh, the history is that the Datejust Oyster was one of the first, or not one of the first, it was the first uh, waterproof watch and they put it in, in um, uh, they called it the Oyster because once you close the shell, the it becomes waterproof and that name stuck. So this Oyster Perpetual name and perpetual means that it could go forever because it has this automatic movement. Now that doesn't seem like a big deal now to have a watch that's waterproof and that runs forever. But you have to remember, this was a hundred years ago that automatic watches were made. Back then there was hardly even electricity and there wasn't even a telephone back then. So for them to make a, a instrument that could tell time and then both be waterproof as well as, as accurate, uh, was a big deal and hence the name oyster to to uh, denote the waterproofness of the watch and perpetual to denote the uh the not needing any battery or outside power source other than your wrist okay and so that that name has stuck ever since it's a good name too okay so that's a little bit of the history and where this watch stands in the lineup i kind of already told you it's a uh, unisex and Rolex makes the date just in many different, like, I want to say they make almost like 500 variations of the date just in every bezel, co bezel combination, dial combination, bracelet combination, material. I mean, the list goes on and on. They, they, they make right, right now on their catalogs, probably like 500 different ones. This is one of them. Okay. So now, now let's talk about the case the case is 36 millimeters that's my thumb to my index finger longest distance across the bezel okay and uh, and uh it's using an oyster case now if you turn it on its side to look at the profile you'll see that it's approximately uh 12 millimeters in height which is uh, a good good height it's not a too thick or not too thin i call the date just 36 as your standard when it comes to sizing in terms of diameter as well as thickness i think it's a great size for as i said women who like to wear larger watches or i think if you're a man and probably under 150 pounds you could benefit from a, a day just 36 because um well it's a smaller watch if you have a large wrist larger than that probably you should go with a 41 okay now 
it's time to start talking about the bezel. Now the bezel here is in a, a, has a diamond bezel. Rolex makes many variations of the of the dial. As I said, they make a smooth bezel, a fluted bezel, and a diamond bezel, and they even make a scattered uh, diamond bezel. Not on the 36, but they do make it on other other ones. Okay. Now you might just look at this and think, well, it's just a diamond bezel. Well, not exactly. Yes, it is a diamond bezel, but Rolex being Rolex does an a, a amazing job, very meticulous job when it comes to placing the stones. They're all done by hand by hand and by a master jeweler that that firmly and securely places the diamonds in either gold or platinum, and then they precisely align the height of the gemstones and their orientation and position as well so that it has a perfect play on light the diamonds are displayed in a perfect manner and the proportions everything is done exactly right and at the end of all this you get a sparkling symphony that makes this watch just look enchanting to the wearer okay so there you have it that's the bezel now the dial actually is also quite special because rolex up until around 22 or 23 2022 or 23 they were making dials that did not have any kind of motifs on them. When I say motifs, what I'm referring to is this palm motif. They were making very flat dials, as in one color, green, blue, you know, whatever it is, red, uh, silver, black, white. You know, they were beautiful dials, but they didn't have sort of this motif or this uh, that you see here. And they, they do many different kind of motifs on them, which I think is a really beautiful thing. It just gives the watch so much pop to it. I really uh, like it a lot. And this is one of their latest ones. I believe this one was released in 23. So you don't see a lot of them and they don't do a lot of them actually. So you don't really see them very often. Now, Rolex tried to, uh, not try, they did make a dial that has this palm motif, which is inspired by lush vegetation. And the palm motif depicts palm branches who whose overlapping fronds create an effect of light and shade. So yeah, I mean, it just looks, if you look carefully, you'll see that some of the palm looks in front, some looks in back, and it kind of, uh, it looks almost 3D in some way. And that's very difficult to do, especially on a dial. And of course, Rolex able to do it. Okay. All right. So um, that's the dial. Let's move on to the bracelet. The bracelet here is in rose gold. Rolex calls this Ever Rose. It's basically stainless steel and rose gold. They call it Ever Rose because Rolex has their own gold foundries in which they mix the gold and they allow it to... Uh, that allows the, them to make sure the gold will stay this rose color forever. Because I don't know if you know this or not, but rose gold can actually turn into yellow gold. I've actually seen it on presidents, old pres president watches. They were originally rose gold, but the copper starts to oxidize and ends up looking yellow gold at the end of it. So Rolex has figured out a way so that it'll never happen, hence the name Ever Rose Gold. I think that happened something around 2005 or something like that. Okay, so um, that is the, the okay, okay, this is the Oyster bracelet. Now Rolex makes it, all, they also make a Jubilee bracelet. What is good about the Oyster bracelet is that it has fatter links, bigger links, makes the watch look a, a little bit more sporty. And it has an Oyster clasp with a easy leak five millimeter comfort extension, which if you look at the way I, I open it, you can actually pull on the buckle and you can extend the watch by five millimeters without having to use any tools actually, which is a great thing because, well, carrying around a tool to change a bracelet when your wrist gets hot or cold is not very practical. So Rolex has figured out how to do that without any tools, okay? All right, so the rose gold, so the Rolex calls this watch rose gold and steel. Basically, I would say mostly it's just the, the band and uh, the bezel that has this rose gold accent. Oh, actually, also the crown. So 
Actually, also the hour markers. Okay, take it back. So the watch is rose gold and steel all throughout. There's accents of rose gold. Not the entire thing's rose gold, but accents of it. And I also think that it makes the watch look very nice because it mixes both strength of steel and the nobility and high uh, class uh, elegance of rose gold. Okay, now let's move on to the movement here. The movement is an upgraded 3235 movement. I say upgraded because the old movement was a 3135, which had been in production for a really long time. I want to say like 25 years. And it was the workhorse in almost every Rolex with a date 36 millimeters and larger. Now that's been replaced by the 3235. And you can't see it, but I have seen it before. And the movement looks much better. It looks much more modern. And not only that, what the major thing that you could see difference between the old and new is that it now has a industry standard, at least I think it's industry standard, power reserve of 70 hours as opposed to the old 40. And if you look at brands such as Patek Philippe, almost all their watches are lacking when it comes to power reserve. I have to say I'm very disappointed with that brand in terms of their power reserve because power reserve is also a function of how efficient a watch is and if it doesn't have a very long power reserve such as every paddock that's that's a cause from concern and newer brands brands that are making movements now such as Audemars Piguet and Rolex they have power reserves of 70 hours and it's also an annoying thing to have to reset your watch if you just put it down for a day and a half to almost two days so yeah anyways Okay, let's try this watch on my wrist. I am six foot tall. So I have a 7.5 inch wrist. And as you can see, this watch it looks a little bit small on me. So I would say those who have a uh, 7 inch wrist or larger probably should go with a 41. But I think that this watch is more for women considering it's got all these diamonds. Although men could wear it, I'm not saying they couldn't, but I would probably say it's more likely that a woman is wearing it. Um, so anyways, for those women who would like to wear a watch that is a little bit big, because that's kind of the trend nowadays, women like watches that are big and bold. There's no, they don't have to always wear these tiny little feminine watches, but it depends on the girl. But anyways, I think it's a very nice watch. I, like, I really am a fan of rose gold and steel. I like it on Oyster also. It makes it look sporty. Of course, diamonds are a girl's best friend, so that is definitely a plus. And then I have to say what makes this watch stand out and really a top watch is the dial. I love this uh, palm motif. And I'm not just saying that because we're here on YouTube and we are selling this watch at jazztime.com. But I'm also saying this because um, I like nature. And I think that to integrate a uh, palm into the watch, I like watches too. And I also like nature. And most of us do. So to integrate that somehow into the watch, I think it's pretty cool. And just looking at it, it's a it's a relaxing thing. Okay, anyways, so if you want to buy this watch at the lowest price anywhere online, where do you go? You go to Jazz Time. That's the maker of this video. That's where I work. And if you want to buy this watch at the lowest price anywhere online, please go to jazztime.com. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. 
If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazz time, plus the brand, model, and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.